come to my channel at Easy Surveys, where we make all survey practices to be easier and educative. In this video, I want to quickly show you all on how to extract coordinates of boundary points, which are the pillars the way we have it on screen here. Okay, so this is a subdivision plan and um, you can be having it more larger, okay, or more bigger than this. Okay, so no matter how much or how numerous the pillars are on the plan, this video is just meant for you. So I'm just going to show you on how to extract the coordinates of the pillars, okay, and as well as import on Notepad and from Notepad export to Excel so that it can aid our setting out on site. Do we get that right? Okay, so under this video description, uh, we're dropping the video on how to auto number this test because this we aid this video. Okay, the explanation towards this video, you are going to get it more better if you can just watch that to refer back on that if you are yet to. All right, so um, the idea about extracting the coordinate automatically okay is just what we want to show you so make sure you join the pillar accordingly with the polyline two and not the line twos do we get that right okay use the polyline to to join the pillars accordingly okay and make sure you go clockwise so this is pt1 okay so i'm just going to join it accordingly the way it is so please refer back to that video if you do not get on how to number the pillars for your subdivision layout plan okay accordingly to the loop you are going to understand how we went to um, auto number these pillars so I've joined that with the polyline too so when you get to the last point on your plan you click on enter okay when you click on enter okay all you have to do next is to highlight the polyline boundaries connecting these pillars accordingly the way we've just done all right so when you highlight it you come to your command line then you type li which is list li then you click on enter so as you can see this is the coordinate of all the pillars we have on this plan so i'm just going to highlight from the beginning of the coordinates okay right click and copy so when i copy the next thing i want to show you okay is to import it to notepad so this is my notepad you open it all right then you right click then paste the coordinates okay so the next trick i want to show you on is how to edit the features or the details you do not need on the coordinates such as this at point we don't need the x we don't need the equals and we don't need these z's um, values okay what we just need is the eastern's values and the northern's values so this video is a complete package for every geomatician out there please if you've watched this video to this extent do well to hit on the subscribe icon to support and encourage us don't also forget to hit and turn on your notification bell so that you can keep getting information from us as we keep dropping our videos all right thank you so please um to edit these details and all you have to do is to highlight from where you do not want so as you can see we don't want this x equals and we do not want all this so you highlight that you come to edit you come to replace so as you can see what you've highlighted on the notepad is what is actually highlighted here at the box for the find word so you leave that the way it is then you come to the box of the replace with you click on it make it or leave it at empty space because we do not want anything there so you click on replace all so when you click on replace all you find out that all the x equals is out and the at point is out do we get that right okay so the next thing is that we do not want this space okay we just want the values to be accordingly okay we don't want the space so the next thing to do is to highlight the space okay come to edit come to replace 
leave the space the way it is highlighted come to the box of the replace with click on replace all so as you can see it has been removed do we get that so the next thing is that we don't want this y equals okay we don't want it so you highlight only the y equals okay when you do that you come to edit come to replace leave it the way it is for the find words box come to the space the replace with okay box click on it then you click on replace all so as you can see the y equals is out also we do not want these z values up to this point so you highlight it come to edit come to replace okay leave it the way it is here click on the replace with box okay the empty space click on replace all okay when you do that you can see that all we have left is the eastings and the nothings so the next thing to do is to export to excel okay we want to export it to excel so all you have to do is to highlight all your values okay this is just a shortcut okay highlight all your values copy it you can minimize okay come to an excel free open sheet this way okay right click then paste so when you paste you come to this paste options here below click on it okay then check and click on the use test import wizard okay click on that so you make sure that this limited is checked okay it's clicked on and um, you click on next when you click on next okay as you can see there are different options here okay so you can so you can choose to click on the comma okay if the space between your excel okay the idea is that if the space between your excel is a comma just like the way some of us do have it if it's a comma all through okay you can actually replace all this with a comma okay so if it's a comma all through you make sure that you check this comma box here but in our own case it is a space that's why we are unchecking it okay do we get that so it is still ideal you just check it okay in case maybe you don't know what it is so just check the comma box then check the space box then you click on next then you click on so this here is general so leave it at general if yours is not on general you checked general then you click on finish so when you do that you will find out that it is well arranged on your excel sheet so this is the eastings and this is the nothings so you can choose to just make it the way it is so we have one that is point one to eleven on our excel sheet so if you come to your autocad we have from pt1 to pt11 so all the pillar coordinate is well extracted accordingly do we get that thank you for watching if you find this video helpful and um, um, so much so much useful to you and your profession in your office or wherever you are watching for, from please do well to subscribe and share to as many as possible thank you see you next time